Welcome back to Short on Time. Here's what you need to know about Bulgari. Bulgari was founded by great silversmith Soterio Bulgari, and the brand has grown to become the third largest jewelry producer in the world. Mr. Bulgari opened his first shop in Rome in 1884 and focused mainly on decorative silver pieces, eventually moving into precious stones and jewels when his sons took over the business in 1932. Drawing on a market interest in snake-inspired jewelry sparked by Queen Victoria's engagement ring, Bulgari adopted the serpentine motif into many of its designs. In 1948, the Roman brand completed its first iteration of the Serpenti, a coiled and ornate piece of high jewelry that concealed a small watch within its head. Bulgari used mechanical movements by several leading manufacturers of the time, including JLC, Piaget, and Vacheron Constantin. Looking to expand from jewelry into watches in the second half of the 20th century, Bulgari took cues from brands like AP and Patek, hiring a Mr. Gerald Genta to craft an original look for their new line of timepieces. In charge of watch production, Bulgari's Swiss subsidiary was established in 1980, and the brand presented the Bulgari Bulgari to the market. In decades to follow, these watches as well as the Serpenti collections were further developed with new explorations in materials and gem setting. With market share growing through strong offerings in jewelry, timepieces, and fragrances, Bulgari was able to acquire the manufacturing rights to both Gerald Genta's watch brand and Daniel Ross watch brand in the year 2000. Through these purchases, Bulgari was granted access to a wealth of new designs, including one octagon-shaped watch that Gerald Genta had not yet fully realized. When LVMH then acquired a majority stake in Bulgari in 2011, development of the brand's Otto Finissimo collection began. The watch launched in 2014 with a highly faceted case architecture and impressive thinness of only 5.15 millimeters. Along with the Serpenti, the Otto Finissimo lines have grown to embody Bulgari's offerings in the watch world. The Otto collection in particular routinely pushes the boundaries of ultra-thin watchmaking with several record-setting complications in the past few years. All the while, Bulgari continues to experiment with sandblasted titanium and precious metals which further highlight the dramatic style of this integrated bracelet watch. While Bulgari has often been aligned more closely with jewelry and fashion watches, their new offerings within the Otto Finissimo collection command considerable respect within the industry. Quartz timepieces from the last 20 years or so will run from a few hundred dollars into the low thousands, while current production watches from the Otto collection begin around $4,000, but boy did they go up from there based on the movements and materials used. Through careful development and acquisitions, Bulgari's watches have been leveraged from a niche offering in fashion to a real player on the world stage of mechanical timepieces, even earning the Agia d'Or grand prize in 2021's GPHG for their Otto Finissimo perpetual calendar. Many consider the Otto Finissimo a future classic and it truly represents why you should not sleep on Bulgari. <laughs>